Hey guys, it is me, Hypersaric, and welcome back to Miss Survival. So for those who didn't know, Miss Survival is a zombie survival game. And currently we are located in front of our base and little by little I'm trying to build some new things. Because we are running low on food, so I tried crafting this cooking pot. But inside of this cooking pot, we can only cook stews and I don't have any vegetables, so I cannot do that. But what we can do is craft this DIY water purifier. But again, to finish this DIY water purifier, we need to get a bucket. And if I'm not mistaken, we could craft a bucket with a workbench. But I still haven't even finished building a workbench. To finish building this workbench, we need to get some more wood. And in front of us, we have a big city and I'd love to start looting it, but I can't really loot it as my inventory is absolutely full. So we're kind of thirsty and we have this drink here. So let's drink this Pepsi. And now we have a bit more space in the inventory and I'm not really that thirsty and I'm not really that hungry. So we should have enough time to cut these logs down into planks. There we go. It takes 45 minutes. That takes really guys a lot of time. So we are burning daylight by cutting these wooden logs into wooden planks, but it is what it is. There we go. Now it's daylight. So let's get back to the base here and how many more planks do we need to drop here all right let's drop those planks so we still need six extra planks so let's try to cut down this extra wooden log into planks i'm kind of sad that it takes 45 minutes but i'm pretty certain that maybe you can craft some sort of a woodworking workbench and maybe then it'll take less time something have happened and if i'm not mistaken maybe that's some sort of an event maybe that is some sort of an event some sort of a guy has crashed somewhere and we can maybe save him her i don't know who that's gonna be but i don't know where that is wait i've gotten some more planks I want to drop those planks here. So we need two extra planks. There we go. And then we'll be able to finish that workbench. And uh, wait, let's close the door now. And I just want to go outside. Maybe the guy crashed somewhere on the road. And if I'm not mistaken, the road has got to be somewhere here. And maybe again, that crashing sound effect means nothing. Maybe I'm just mistaken, but I'm pretty certain someone has crashed somewhere. We just have to find them. And hey, while we are searching for that guy, I'd like to remind you to smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more Miss Survival videos. Thank you guys for all of your support. I really appreciate that. All right, I see a car down there. Look at this guys i was right i was absolutely right oops i did hurt myself a little bit but hey that does not matter say so what do we need to to help them maybe that's even the car maybe that's not the right car there's probably a gas station there in front of us is that the guy do we have to save them yes that is we have to save them let's open the door let's rescue the guy it takes three minutes to rescue the dude there you go let's save them I knew it. I knew it. Let's talk to the dude. Uh, thank you for saving me, says the survivor. And I'm going to answer. Sure. This is a small thing that I can give you in return. But I don't have space in the inventory. Maybe I have added to your inventory. Need anything else? Let's try to trade with them. So we can buy some batteries. We can buy some consumables like an apple. And maybe I can exchange that apple for a rock. No, we cannot deal for our apple with a rock. Maybe I can give him some more lashings. There we go. He needs lots of lashings for one apple, but probably I'll do this. We have it. So let's make a deal with him. That's it. Can I get anything else from him? Probably not. Whatever, let's go back now. Now I'm gonna tell him good luck. That's it, we traded with what we could. Can I see my things on the ground? Yes, he gave me a fishing reel. So if we save the guy, we cannot drive the car. The car is totally wrecked. You know what, these lashings, we will get more lashings if we ever need them. Now let's get that reel because maybe with the reel, we'll be able to get some more food. All right, so we're also gonna check out that gas station, if that's even the gas station. I think right now we should be focusing on food. So I want to craft a grill because there are some sort of animals and we do have a weapon, if I'm not mistaken. And this weapon is gonna have eight bullets. I think we have even more than eight bullets. So that's gonna be enough to deal with some sort of a deer. Then we'll get enough meat. We'll be able to cook that meat on a grill. We can also craft a dryer. So then we'll be able to dry more meat that way without cooking it. And maybe that meat is gonna last longer. So there are lots of things that we could do. We also have this cartwheel. I don't know what we can do with it, but I know we can use it. All right, maybe somewhere here there is a storage. Also, one day we're going to clear out this barn. And maybe this barn is going to be ours. Well, the closest some sort of a storage is in front of the church here. There's this car. So we can drop some loot in the vehicle. Maybe let's drop this empty bottle. Let's drop the fishing reel some scrap metal. I don't really want to drop everything just in case things disappear. Hey, let's drop shotgun shells because we don't need them. And maybe some components. There we go. We have a bit more storage now in our inventory. And at the same time, we have to keep in mind that mist can come out of nowhere. It would be cool maybe if you fight zombies, you'd get a bit better loot because currently you don't get insane loot for fighting those zombies. But hey, maybe we're going to fight some of them because why not? So there was one plank somewhere over there, but I don't think I'll bother with it. We'll just get another log. There we go. There are these logs. Let's get a log. Let's now cut it down in 
into planks is gonna take again 45 minutes and cutting down those planks we could have just cut down two logs instead of and we could have just gotten two planks instead of four planks maybe that was a mistake i don't know if mist is coming maybe maybe and also another thing guys somewhere there there is a cave and during the night it shines so that means there are people and we can probably rescue a hostage there because i think that's what i've done during the beta update all right let's close that let's finish the workbench and there we go ladies and gentlemen finally we have our workbench so let's interact with it so we could craft here sticks we can craft screws nails leather matches a screwdriver there we go we can craft a bucket guys 45 minutes to craft a bucket so i think let's craft ourselves a bucket please tell me it's not night i mean it's not misty not night because zombies don't really spawn during the night they spawn only during the mist okay let's drop the bucket into the water purifier so we need eight extra stones there are so many things that we've unlocked right now all right to craft a recursive bow we need to upgrade the workbench and in order to upgrade the workbench we need 10 planks six of those scrap metals and two cog wheels okay we're gonna get that we can craft hunting arrows we can craft a basic quiver that takes 45 minutes to craft or a leather quiver we don't really need lots of crazy materials so we can get those things quite easily except i left my bow i don't remember where somewhere outside and we can craft an upgraded wooden shield i never used it so i don't know if that'll be useful but where do i craft storage hello wait did i just craft those things for no reason i don't believe this there's got to be a way to craft the lockers oh there we go we can craft lockers from over here we didn't need to craft a workbench for the locker okay cool i get it it's just here in this building building section. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. So we can craft a security locker, which I don't have enough items for, but hey, we can craft this red locker now. Let's go. Let's craft this red locker. I don't know where I'll place it. Probably somewhere here. There we go. Let's sort of place the item. Now let's try to finish building it because we have all the resources required to build it. And it's gonna have lots of storage, guys. So, hey, finally. Also, let's maybe start working on a grill. I can maybe move the campfire. Can I move it? No, I cannot move the campfire. We'll need to probably build another one. But we'll also need to build a grill. Say, so let's go to the building menu. Let's find a grill. There we go. We got a standing grill. Can I place it here? Oh, we can place standing grill here under the cooking pot. Is that going to work? I mean, I'll try it. I'll try it. So we need now four scrap metals. And I dropped those scrap metals all the way there. So let's get the scrap metals. Let's finish building the grill. Also, somewhere there, there was a deer walking. Hmm. Except I don't see it anymore. So yeah, that's it. I really thought it's going to be much harder to craft a locker. But these lockers aren't that expensive. So yeah, that's great. Let's take all of the loot now from this car. And then we have so many things to loot. We also need to learn how to craft Molotovs. Because in order to clear out the barn, I'm pretty certain we need a Molotov. So we're going to check that stuff out as well. I think we need detergent. We need a bottle. Maybe alcohol. Also, there is a chicken. I see that chicken walking there. I don't know if we can get it to get eggs. I don't know if we can tame it. But what I do know... Maybe we can catch it. Wait, I'll just try to catch it. Okay, so it's just going to run away. We can't really catch it. We can't really catch it. But what I can do is use this gun. I'm sorry. Little one, but main's got to eat. I think I can hear more chicken. Ah, got it! I got it! Probably felt bad, but it is what it is. Let's go. Let's try to take the chicken. Did I get it into our inventory? Yes, indeed, we have it. A wild chicken. There's another one there. Okay, I'm not killing it because I don't even know if we'll be able to harvest any meat from it. Hopefully, we will. Also, there are some rocks that I need to take, but I don't have space for any of those rocks. Well, time for us to eat this apple. That was at least something. Again, maybe I could have used this apple to craft some sort of a trap. At least that was the description of it. But hey, whatever. Let's get these rocks as we need lots of rocks. And another better way to find these rocks is to disable foliage. Then you'll be able to see rocks a bit easier. But hey, for now, we can kind of see rocks this way as well. Okay, so let's drop a few rocks to this DIY water purifier. Let's drop those metal scraps here. And there we go. We got the grill. Now we can interact with that grill. We can drop things in the grill, but hey, we just need meat. Let's try to hide the gun in case if I shoot it by accident. Let's try to check the chicken and hey, let's try to harvest it. What well, we can harvest, tool not found. So I've just done three second research. What if I get that chicken? Wait, let's close the door just in case if night comes in while we'll be harvesting it. Let's try to harvest. We have to drag the chicken and there we go. We have the knife. So now we can get whatever we need to get. It's gonna take us an hour to get some chicken meat. And we have to get it because I'm kind of hungry and also thirsty. I'm more thirsty than hungry. Lots of things fell on the ground, but we don't have space for it, ladies and gents. That ain't cool. We're gonna start the fire, perhaps. Let's drop the chicken in the grill stand. Let's drop three of them. Success rate, 60%. Let's go. Let's start to start the fire. We have no more tinder. Dude, the fire didn't start. I'm gonna start dying out of thirst really soon. I haven't crafted this thing yet. The water purifier. We should have done that. Now we'll be in trouble. All right, let's try to get this combat knife. Let's try to get some of those tree barks. Now let's drop those tree barks here and let's try to... Oh no, we also need some fuel. 
There we go. I have one log. There we go. Let's try to start the fire. There we go. The fire started, so now the chicken should start cooking. Maybe let's drop one more chicken here. Hopefully, it's not gonna burn. Now, let's get animal fat, the feathers that we will obviously need, and chicken thing here. Let's drop everything back in the chest, in the storage. There we go. So, I dropped some items, I think. Yeah, we have a decent amount of space. We need to get some extra stone. Say, so let's go to the settings. Let's disable the foliage and let's quickly find a few rocks. Then we can start boiling the water and then I can go to the city because soon we'll start dying. We need how many more rocks? Six more rocks left. All right, let's search for six rocks because it'll take time to boil the water. Maybe an hour, maybe two hours. So I kind of want to be ready. There we go. Two rocks, three rocks. Also, we've gotten a blueberry. I think we can just eat it. Let's go, let's try to eat that blueberry. Maybe it's not gonna reset my thirst that much. It has done probably nothing. Or at least we have a decent amount of stones here up the very, very top. That's why I disabled the, the foliage. There was also another chicken somewhere there. I heard it, but it doesn't matter. How many stones we got? We got eight stones. That's more than enough. All right, I've turned on back the foliage. Now let's finish crafting this DIY water purifier. We need to start the water. Oh my goodness, materials needed. We need firewood, we need tree barks, we need dirty water that I don't have. And that's it, I'm dehydrated, water needed. Well, let's start working on that water. Hopefully I won't die. There we go. We can see the heart bleeding, so that means we are losing health. But I, I'm ready, I'll try to be quick. So let's go over here, let's hide the weapon. And let's try to fill the container. There we go, let's fill this big container. I have also a bottle of water. Let's fill that thing as well. If we're gonna drink dirty water, I'm pretty certain we'll get like some sort of diarrhea. Maybe I'll get a disease. And at least you're not losing health like crazy. So just because you're dehydrated doesn't mean that you'll die instantly, which I think is pretty cool because it's really annoying when some games kill you instantly as soon as you get dehydrated. Oh no, small animal meat is burned. I burnt it, no way. No way, didn't mean that. Whatever, let's add now water. There we go, we're gonna put two and a half liters there. Let's add this thing. I don't think I got any matches. There we go, we got some matches in the grill stand. Can I eat that meat? Oh my goodness, I just burned it. I was supposed to look after it. Well, whatever, let's drop the chicken here. We're gonna cook it again, but this time a bit more carefully. All right, let's take this log, and from this log, we're gonna get some firewood then. I wanna check this chicken. All right, it's still not burned. So let's get a little bit of firewood. It takes only five minutes to get the firewood. Not that hard. The chicken is... It burned! Did you see that? It burned in a couple of seconds! This is unbelievable. Even a little bit stupid, I'd say. So maybe you don't skip the time. Maybe you just look after it. There we go. Let's get some tree barks with a knife. What about us? Okay, we still haven't really lost that much health. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's probably start this tilling the water. There we go. We started it, ladies and gents. So the thing is working. The DIY water purifier is working. My chicken is burned. We'll try to eat it as soon as I have some water. There we go. We are already getting water here. That's great. Let's drop the chicken here inside of our chest. I've kind of sorted out the inventory and I think we can go outside to the city. We can start looting this town. There we go. Let's drop that stick. We don't really need it. The, we've gotten just a little bit of water. It'll take time to purify all the water. I'm just thirsty. I'm not super hungry. So let's search for water now. Maybe at the same time, we'll find some more backpacks. And somewhere there, I don't remember where, but in one of these houses, there was a place to repair the vehicle. So I have to find that vehicle. We have to start bringing items. We have to start finding tires, engines, spark plugs, etc., etc. I think I've looted this house already. Let's just quickly double check it. We have some powder detergent. Let's get it because we kind of have enough space now. Antibiotics. I'll get them for now, but as soon as we run out of space, I'll probably drop that stuff. All right, we've gotten some ammunition. Let's get that. A little bit of duct tape. I'll get it. So we are literally gathering now all the garbage. We can find more weapons, some rags. We can use those rags to craft a quiver. There we go. Nothing else here. Sadly, we cannot loot the fridge. Would be epic if we could check the fridge. All right, and none of these things have any water. So that's it. We've kind of looted this building then. There's nothing left inside of that building. This place is gonna have zombies. We also have a baseball bat. Because listen, we can even hear these zombies. There we go. There they are. There are lots of them, but probably this place would have lots of food. How many bullets do we have? We have a decent amount of bullets. Can I kill these zombies with one shot? I don't really have lots of stamina. A general store. I think we've been here. 
ish last time, maybe. Yes, indeed. We've been here. There were those mannequins. Oh, there we go. There's the car, ladies and gents. So as soon as we get all the necessary items, we will be able to drive it. And it'll be much easier to traverse this world. But yeah, we need lots of and lots of items for it. All right. So probably here we can get some more firewood. Okay, we can't pick that up. But we have a combat knife, which, hey, we don't need. And there's another building that I cannot enter. I still haven't lost any health. That's kind of weird why I'm not dying. There we go. I've looted this place. We've gotten a few more scrap metals. We've gotten a filter for our mask, which we totally need. Let's get rid of the antibiotics. Maybe that's not the smartest thing, but let's get the filter. Is that a wheel that we can take? Yes, that's the tire that we can take with us. I don't even know what we could get rid of these two components, but they're kind of rare-ish, so we should be saving those components. Again, I'm, I'm out of space once again. Maybe we're gonna come back here. I remember that this place has a tire, so I'm, I'll come back. We'll definitely come back to that place. We can also open this place so we can get some more rags more scrap and that's it doesn't really look like there's anything else in this place oh there's some more scrap except i can't take it for some reason it's stuck probably and there are those zombies so we are gonna loot this place very soon but i think we've purified a little bit of water so let's go there let's get that water let's drink some water and then let's start cleaning up that house because i'm dehydrated but i haven't lost lots of health okay i've lost a little bit of health so just because you're dehydrated doesn't mean you'll die instantly so you have enough time to find water. You have enough time to craft whatever things you need to craft. And that is very, very lovely. Also, we have here a doggo house. We also have a doggo bowl. So when we will get a dog? We need a doggo here. We need a new friend. All right, we've gotten 300 milliliters. That's not <laughs> a lot, but let's get something. Let's take that water into our bottle. Actually, let's drink until enough. Probably we'll drink all of the water here. But still, we've drank all the water. Now we're not super thirsty. All right, let's get back to the base real quick while it's still daylight. Let's drop all of these things here. That's it. We are running out of space. So probably we need to craft one more of those things. One more locker. We can craft fences. We can craft wooden walls. Chicken coop. A little coop for chicken. Keep them safe from wild animals. There are nest boxes inside for them to sleep and laying eggs. Chicken will only lay eggs in the coop. There's the water feeder to feed chicken. There's the fish pond. A, we can craft a dog house, a tree base. Dude, there are so many things. I don't even know if those things were in the game before. We can also craft ourselves a bed to sleep better and restore fatigue. There are lots of and lots of things that we can craft. But hey, first of all, let's craft another locker here. I'll probably place it somewhere here-ish. Let's go. Let's drop these things. So I think we won't have enough wood because we have enough scrap metal. So let's drop those things. Let's now get just two planks. There's another chicken, so maybe I'll save it. Then we'll get maybe ourselves a chicken coop and we'll be able to have chicken. Maybe that's what we are supposed to do. All right, let's try to get this thing. And let's try to get maybe only two pieces of wood. How long will it take us? Okay, we can only get four. We're well crafted. Please tell me mist is not going to come because sometimes when you're doing... It is misty. And late. Uh-oh, that's what I was talking about. That's what I try to tell you guys. Let's see, these schmucks are gonna come now out of nowhere. All right, all right, whatever. Let's drop these things here. There we go. We have ourselves another locker. I'll drop here whatever items that we don't need. There we go. That's a bit, a bit, a bit better. Battery is dead for my light? What? So we need more... We need to find... We need to find batteries. All right, so we could obviously go outside and fight those uh, zombies, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's try to maybe sleep for an hour. There you go, let's try to hide the weapon. I don't even have a light, so what are we gonna do outside? Last time we tried to fight them, and we fought them. Let's try to sleep for an hour. I couldn't sleep. Because they can probably hear us. Okay, that's not cool. What if I try to sleep for an hour again? I can't sleep. It does not allow me to sleep. I've made probably too much noise. I think they can destroy walls and come inside of the base. I just don't know if they're smart enough here right now to do that. But I know it's possible. But they're really creepy outside. They're really, really loud. And I still can't sleep anywhere. I'm trying to sleep for an hour. And it doesn't allow me. Like, I wake up right away. All right, so to craft a Molotov, I see we need a, a bottle. We need booze. We need rags. And we need powder detergent. All right, so as soon as we find booze, then I think we'll have enough items. Then we'll be able to craft a Molotov. And then we'll be able to destroy that barn. All right, so they have kind of calmed down. I stayed here for a while. And maybe let's try to sleep again. We woke up! 
We woke up and there's no more mist. Correct? I think it's kind of brighter outside. My guy woke up. Now it's 7.15 p.m. I don't know why it's so dark. <sighs> there was a zombie. The guy was there. I kid you not. The dude was there walking. I don't know how he didn't see me. But the guy was there. What if I save the game? I have an idea. What if I save the game and we try to sleep till morning? Because now it's... It's evening, right? And zombies are still there. So maybe after the mist, they stay here because there's no daylight. So they can still fight you. And there's not much I can do during the day. So let's try to sleep. But at the same time, again, I don't have lots of food. I might probably instantly die. So let's try to go to sleep for, I don't know how many hours. 10 hours, right? Let's go. Let's try to sleep. Hopefully I won't die. I won't lose all of my health. There we go. We just slept. I'm starving, obviously. Let's try to sleep till 6 a.m. There we go. I slept till 6 a.m. I don't know what's going on here. I think it was always like that. That's it. I think we can go outside. We are super hungry. We are super thirsty. But hey, we are not dead yet. That's all what matters. Let's whip out the gun now. I don't see any of those zombies. There we go. There's only this guy. He dropped us an electronic component. Some sugar. Okay, cool. But I think we're going to get here a little bit of water. Whatever. We got some water here. Let's drink until enough. There we go. Probably we're going to have even more water. There we go. That's great. So let's go back here and let's try to eat that burnt chicken. Maybe not the smartest idea, but I'll try to do it. Let's try to eat it. Please tell me I'm not going to get poisoning or something. I mean, it's a burnt chicken. It's not that bad. It's not like it burnt inside. It burnt only on the outside. Just scrape it off and eat it. Okay, we are eating. It doesn't even really give us that much hunger. We are only getting a little bit of food here, which doesn't seem that logic to me, but hey, you know what? I am eating it, ladies and gents. I'm gonna eat everything I can here. There we go. Probably every time I eat this chicken, we also get some thirst. There we go. I'm still a little bit thirsty, and uh, that's it. I'm no longer losing health, so let's go out. Let's drink some more water, ladies and gentlemen, and somehow, somewhere, we are surviving. What's cool about this game, as I said, is that we are not dying instantly as soon as you become hungry or thirsty so that is very very lovely there we go let's take some more water and i think what i'm gonna do is i'll start distilling even more water here because why not you can never have too much water so let's get back to our water source and then we need to loot that house that was full with zombies there's so many things to do there's another place here that we haven't looted i'm loving this game dude it's amazing let's fill the bottle let's fill this one there we go we're gonna get two and a half liters i'm probably gonna use this jug to just fill dirty water and if we ever go somewhere further away, maybe I'm gonna fill that jug with clean water. So we need to clear this city. We need to get all the loot from this place. There's something there. I know that there was something behind this house somewhere. And also there's that cave that we need to check out that we spoke about. So there's so many things to do. There's also a rag. There we go. Let's get that rag. Now let's drop this dirty water. There we go. We have enough of the tree barks. So let's start distilling the water. That's it. Let's get more water now. Oh, there's another barn there. I haven't even seen it yet. Okay, there are seriously lots of things. All right, so I remember somewhere we had a revolver. And I think I know where it was. All right, revolver was probably here inside of this general store. There we go. Behind the counter. There we go. We have the revolver and these bullets. So let's add the revolver here. Let's try to load it up. There we go. We've loaded it up. Almost. There we go. That's something. So as soon as we run out of those bullets, we'll have the revolver. I've never used the revolver here, so I don't know how it's going to shoot. But maybe it'll be decent enough. All right, let's open up the door. Plus, I can sprint away. They won't be chasing us because it's daylight. Let's get a headshot. There we got one zombie. Die, schmuck. There we go. We, we dealt with one dude. There's another one of them is chasing us. Got him. There we go. Come to Papa. I want to see what this guy had here. A potato. There we go. Let's get the potato. Oops, missed it. They totally missed that shot. My bad. There we go. Maybe we don't even need to get headshots. They just died to a chest shot. That's cool. Let's get it. Let's get this. I don't think I have any more bullets in that weapon. So I have used the revolver, which was pretty cool. Oh, no. I wasted more bullets than I probably should have. The guy died somewhere. There we go. A An electronic component. Let's reload this weapon real quick. So yeah, revolver probably does more damage, obviously. Hello? Anybody home? All right, could we even claim this house for ourselves? Probably not. Probably that's not how it works. Maybe I'm going to keep this door open just in case if I need to run away from here. So for now, I'm not searching for loot. I'm just searching if this place has any more zombies. But I think that's it. 
What is this? No, we cannot pick that up. Please tell me this place had at least some loot. Please tell me I didn't come here for no reason. All right, the second floor has absolutely nothing. Not a single thing. It is what it is. That's it. Nothing on the top floor. Well, there is something here. Wait, let's prepare the weapon. All right, so we came here for a reason then. Okay, cool. I already see some loot. Uh, there we go. Some shotgun shells. Let's get them. Still haven't seen a shotgun yet. More shotgun shells. More shotgun shells and a sewing kit. And more revol- No, that's the rifle ammo, not revolver ammo. Okay, cool. Let's go here then. There we go. There's the riot helmet. Let's pick it up. I think we can go to equipment and we can equip this helmet. There we go. So we are protected from bullets, maybe even from some zombie attacks. So yeah, that's it. We haven't gotten anything else besides the riot helmet and plus some other things up there. So yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna maybe close these doors. Maybe I should keep them open, but just in case maybe zombies respawn, they'll run out. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So yeah, let's close the door. And now let's loot the bottom floor. Hopefully the bottom floor is gonna have something. Some booze. There we go. We got some booze. That's epic. So we'll be able to craft one of those Molotovs. And I want to see how it works. As I have never used it before. Let's get some more rifle ammo. I maybe used Molotov before a while ago. But not to destroy some sort of an infection or whatever. I don't remember why we used it exactly. There was maybe some sort of a monster. Like some sort of a plant monster. I don't remember. Ooh, pick up 50 cal ammo. That's cool. We got 11 bullets. Loaded in M250 cal. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep it. Let's open the door. Anything useful in the bathroom? There we go. We got some storage. More detergent. Okay, we don't have space anymore to get the painkillers, sadly. We have a potato. What can we get rid of? We kind of probably need everything. If we came here for loot, we might as well just get the loot. I just don't have the painkillers. So maybe let's drop the painkillers and that stuff here. All right, I'm coming back. Let's actually leave this place real quick. I'm gonna keep the door open. Let's get back to our base. Let's drop the loot that we've just gotten. Then we can come back. All right, so I kind of dropped things that we don't need. And maybe this time we're even gonna craft a Molotov. Wait, let's try to get it. Then let's get a Molotov. Do I even have empty bottles? I probably haven't taken a single empty bottle with me. So where are the empty bottles? I know they gotta be. They gotta be somewhere here-ish. All right, let's get ready. Let's start looting. Maybe I have to hide the weapon. I don't think no one's gonna spawn here on top of us. That would be crazy. And once again, inventory is almost full. But we kind of need to eat, so maybe let's eat the peaches or fruit and, or whatever that is. Let's go. This spoon is hilarious. I mean, the guy, the way he's holding that spoon, I don't know. There's just something about it. All right, I think we can start looting the kitchen. We've got uh, some Pepsi. Let's get that Pepsi. We have lighter fluid, which is really cool. Some sugar that I don't have space for. All right, very lovely. Any loot here in these cupboards? Doesn't really look like it. All right, some more water, more lighter fluid. Can we stack this lighter fluid? Probably not. So I'm gonna try to check everything. There's some loot that we obviously need to take. A granola bar. And that's pretty much it. So we are gonna come back here to get the rest of those granola bars. But we could have now so much more space if I just had an empty bottle. All right, another machete that... That we kind of don't need, but hey, that's cool. It's there. Another tire. Say so we can have two tires now. Oh, there we go. There's an empty bottle. I knew that it can be somewhere here. Let's drop like whatever what we don't need. Like this cigarette. I don't even know what's the point of it. Can we trade it? I don't know. What we could do though is craft this Molotov. There we go. It takes 10 minutes to craft it. So let's craft the Molotov. Probably no miss. Gonna come in in 10 minutes. That would be illegal. There we go. We got the Molotov. So we could use it somewhere in a more dangerous place. Like maybe in this general store. Or maybe we just need a gas mask for it. And that's it. We don't need a Molotov here. Where I need the Molotov though is inside of that barn. All right. So we are back at the base. Let's see how much water we've distilled here. Almost. Well, not all of it. Still 1.88 liters left. So let's wait until it distills there. All right, so now I'm trying to find space to drop all of the loot here. We are kind of running low on, on storage once again. We'll need to craft another one of those lockers really, really soon. Like probably even right now-ish. There we go. I've dropped some bullets. We have a tire that we'll use one day. Now let's add this thing to the first slot, right? Molotov. Correct. I have no idea how to throw it, but we are going to clear this place out. Not certain how it works. But we can equip the gas mask. I don't remember how to, does one put on a gas mask. There we go. We have a gas mask. How do I light it? That's it. Is that gonna work? Is that going to work? Because that's what I've seen at least. Let's get rid of the... The gas mask. 
There we go, ladies and gents, it worked. So that's so you clear it, that's it. I've seen a GIF or something on the Steam page that that's so you clear those things. That's awesome. So that's it, guys, that blob is no more. We can even keep this as our base. Like, this could be our shelter, but we don't really need it. All right, let's see what kind of things we can get in this shelter then. I mean, this place was really close to our base, so it's nice that we cleared it. Maybe we can find some other cool loot. All right, we're gonna use this ladder very soon. I'm just gonna check if we have anything else. All right, we got a canister. Any water in it? Looks like it was empty canister, but we have another canister, which is great. Let's get some more empty bottles for more of those Molotovs and a bucket. I didn't even have to craft my own bucket, but hey, that's fine. We have an extra bucket then. Um, nothing here. Let's close the door. All right, anything on this side? There we go. Another empty bottle. Do these bottles stack or not? Yes, they do kind of stack. That is good to know. More scrap metal that I cannot take. All right, we are very, very, very close to our base. So let's go back there. Let's maybe try to craft another locker. Then we'll make a bit better base. Like, this is just a temporary base. But I somehow, some way, they fit. That's awesome. There we go. We have another empty locker. So let's drop those things in this empty locker, the car part. Then maybe we'll start sorting it out. I'm just going to add this axe back on the first slot because I like it. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Oh. One day my heart will stop. I'm telling you. One day, one day my, car, my heart will stop. Oh, my God. I did not expect this. You know, it's daylight. There's nothing to jump scare you. So when you don't expect a jump scare, those jump scares are extremely, extremely painful. There we go. We've probably gotten another one of those events so we can save the guy. Maybe let's get something to trade with. Like what I don't need. I mean, we got a chain, so we got this fishing reel that we probably need. I mean, there's not much that I can give to him in the first place. All right, we got some more water that'll probably sell that bottle of water. I don't know if it'll be expensive or not. There we go. That's the thing that I came here for, the combat knife. We have a few combat knives, so I can give that guy another combat knife. Let's get some food. And I think that's it. We got another hammer that I can sell as well. All right, I think we are done looting this house. There's nothing else left there. Still haven't found the engine, but again, this place still has a few extra houses that we haven't checked out. Some of them are just unlootable, but some of them are still infested with those zombies that we need a, a gas mask. Wait, check this out. Let's go to equipment real quick. And inside of the equipment... No, inside of the gear, the gas mask is at 87%. And we have to hold T to change the filter. And I do have another filter, so that's cool. So basically, we have, like, two gas masks now. That's great. All right, so where's the, the dude that crashed? They keep crashing all the time. Like, what's going on? This is, like, a third event where they crashed because in the first episode last time, I've heard that bang, and I didn't think about them crashing. But then when I was editing the video, I remembered that sound, and I've heard that sound during beta. There we go, another one of them here. And once again, in the same spot... Dude, please tell me you're not the same guy. Please tell me. Who gave you the driving license? I know it's zombie apocalypse, etc, etc, but is that the same guy? No, that's a different guy. All right. Can't blame me. Maybe they, they have to put a sign here or something because apparently it's a dangerous place. There we go. We just saved the dude. Thank you for saving me. Sure. This is a small thing I can give in return. Add it to your inventory. I've gotten some sort of ammo boxes. Let's try to trade with this guy. So what is this? We can buy a medicine kit. We can buy some bullets and we can get a red dot. Okay, so that's it. I don't think we can add anything else. If I'm going to get a shotgun bullet, that's it. I can't get a deal. So that's what we're going to get some food. And that's it. Maybe I should be saving those items for this scope though. And you have to be ready because even if you leave this place, the guy just disappears. So you have to be ready. You have to have the items. So even probably if I sell everything, I won't be able to get that red dot. And I don't know how common it is. Well, for now, that's what we get. But I'll keep in mind that if we ever need this red dot, that's where we get it from. And I'll be ready for it. Let's make a deal. That's it. We are done with this guy. Let's give him good luck. And the dude is gone. That's it. Oh, we got some stuff in the trunk. I didn't even know that. Cool. I think uh, last time I missed it. We also have empty metal case. Parts for vehicle customization. So we maybe need it. Maybe it was cool. We've gotten some grapes. Let's go. Let's eat those grapes. That's epic. Pretty big grapes. Pretty large grapes. Plus, we have another machete that I could maybe sell to him next time. So, yeah, I should probably take those items. As they are quite expensive. What can I say? And let's finish looting our barn because we haven't looted it yet. Let's open that up. And yeah, last time there was that huge blob here. But hey, finally it's gone. And probably we have to climb now to the second floor because it looks like we've gotten everything here. Let's go to the second floor. Maybe here we can find some goodies. Maybe a rifle because we have gotten some rifle ammo. We can buy a red dot, obviously, probably for a rifle. Some garden gloves that we can sell later. Maybe jeans that we can sell later. I don't know if they're expensive or not. How much value they got, but 
Hey, that's something. Components. There's a concrete bag, but it doesn't fit anywhere. I mean, I don't know where to use that concrete bag, so I don't think I'll be using it. I don't think I'll take it. And the third locker is full as well. I can't believe it. We have gotten lots of those single items like garden gloves and jeans. Maybe I don't need them. I don't think I can actually sell that stuff for a nice price. So let's just drop them here. They'll probably... Dis Maybe they'll disappear one day. I don't know when they'll disappear. I don't know how long it takes for these things to despawn. But hey, what I could do though is drop maybe those things here. It's not like I'll ever use them, but hey, for now, let's keep them there. And there are still so many things for us to do. There are still a few buildings that we haven't checked in that city. And also there's something up there in that cave so we have to be ready we have enough bullets because that's where we will save a survivor probably but we're gonna do all of that in the next episode so subscribe to not miss that video and i highly suggest you checking out my raft let's player click on the second card and you'll go to my scum survival let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep